Eric Chow. My name is Bob Bristol, and I'm the athletic director here, and I'm thrilled that this day is here because I get the honor and privilege to introduce the next men's ice hockey coach at Providence College, Nate Lehman, and his beautiful bride in the back. Where's Alice? She's with Ty. Is Alice back there? There you go, Alice. He's the class of 2027. We're already recruiting him, right, Coach? <laughs> I also want to introduce Ben Barr. Ben is our new assistant coach who played at RPI and has been at Union. And uh, where's Tara? Is Tara in the house? <coughs> She's not here. Okay, that would be a significant <laughs> other. Oh, there she is. Hi, Tara. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> to hear from Nate shortly. I'm going to say a few words, but before that, I wanted to introduce my teammate in this search, and he's, he's truly the head coach of everything on this campus, President Father Brian Shevin. Come on up. Thank you, Bob. I'm Casey Cantel, very happy today. We've got a great new hockey coach at Providence College. And I want to welcome you, Nate, and your family, and Ben, to Providence College. I'm looking forward. I wish we could, I'm sure you guys wish you could hit the ice already and get this next season going. As we went about our search, I would say three criteria were foremost in, in our minds. First of all, we wanted a hockey coach that had proven over time that he could sustain excellence and run a program. And Nate Lehman has done that. I'll let Bob speak to his accomplishments as a hockey coach, but this man can coach and he can run a program. But more importantly for me as the president of the college is I want coaches that buy into being educators because I believe that coaches are educators. And I want coaches who will educate their student athletes to appreciate the opportunity for education that they have at Providence College. And I want coaches that will care about their character development. More than anything else, and everybody knows I'm very competitive, I like to win. You heard that name? I like to win. <laughs> but more important to me than wins and losses and even championships is I want coaches that will make our student athletes better people. And I want a coach that I can look these guys in the eye and their parents and say, he's not only going to make you a better hockey player, but you're going to be a better man. And that's more important to me as a priest than anything else. So I think we have the total package in Nate. A man who can coach, a man who's committed to the education of his student athletes, and a man who can mentor our student athletes. And I couldn't be more happy today to be a part of this new beginning at Providence College. We've got a great hockey tradition, and we're going to get it back, and this is the guy who's going to get us there. Welcome, Nate. You know, let me talk a little bit about the search, and Father talked about his three criteria. We haven't talked about that, but interestingly enough, they're exactly the same. You know, I learned a valuable lesson when we went out and hired the men's basketball coach about a month ago. In fact, I wanted to recognize Coach Cool in the back. He is uh, Nate's new teammate, so Coach, thanks for being here today. yourself with the smartest people you possibly can and I had the good fortune to surround myself with some of the best people in hockey both in terms of alumni out there Nick Reggio, Joe Hubbard, a lot of guys out there, Robbie Goudreau that were the best of the best so when we talked to coaches about coming to Providence College we had those guys on the phone and I think Nate would attest that when you have guys that play in the NHL with the kind of legacy we have here at Providence College, it makes a statement of what we were and what we will become. And I just wanted to thank all of those guys for their hard work and commitment because we couldn't do it without them. Uh, Father mentioned three criteria. I had three as well. For me, the most important thing is that Nate understands the academic commitment we have to these guys. I'm really proud of these guys because all of them have a 3.0 or better. And one of the things that impressed me about Nate, and I had the chance to work at Union College, which is a tough academic institution, 
All of this student athletes had a 3.0 and better. And they also had over 91 student athletes that were on the all academic PCAC uh, team. And I remember in the first question we had asked Nate, he said, Why PC? And he said, Because I want to work at a school where academics are valued. He's been at Union, he's been at Harvard, and he'll be an absolute perfect fit for here at Providence College. Number two, I wanted, we wanted a world class recruiter. And I don't know if you know anything about Union College, but it's essentially a Division III school that has no athletic scholarships. And through their hard work and commitment and perseverance and developing relationships with people literally all over the world, this past year they got the team to number four in the nation. So there's no question in my mind they can recruit. And the last one, and equally important to me, is we wanted somebody who was a visionary. Somebody that I call an architect. Somebody that can build a program. Now, now think about what he did when he went to Union College, and I think he shared this one. When he went to Union eight years ago, no one really wanted the job. I think that's what you, what you told me. He walked in there and created this vision and this plan, and every year they got better. They hadn't won more than two seasons out of 17. And in the past four, they won every single time. This past year, they won 26 games, which is the most in the history of the college. They won the ECAC regular season championship. They went to the NCAA for the first time in the history of the college and lost to Minnesota to lose the ultimate national champion. And because of his hard work, he was named the ECAC Coach of the Year and the American Hockey Coaches Coach of the Year. So you have somebody who's built it from the beginning to the end. And, and the final comment I would make, and we all know the great players. In fact, we've got a lot of great alumni out here. How about the alumni please stand up and be recognized that are sitting out here today. Come on guys, stand up, the hockey players. Mm -hmm. Nice to have you here, Joe, as well. You know, I talked to Rick Bennett, who was, uh, Nate was smart enough to hire uh, when he left Providence uh, five years ago. And I called him to say congratulations for getting the union job. He said, no, Bob, congratulations to you. You can't have a better hockey coach as an alum and somebody who loves this program. I'm thrilled he's there. But more importantly, he's a better human being. So have a nice round of applause for the next head coach at Providence College, Nate Lee. Here, uh, for as long as you'd like, and, and you gentlemen here, we, 
we would like to have a meeting with you maybe in about a half an hour up in the video room as well. And, and on behalf of the college, I want to say thank you for coming out. This is an exciting day for us. We have a vision and a dream. We have one of the greatest programs in the history of college hockey. And we want to get back to where we were, winning hockey's championships and competing for a national championship. And I think collectively with everybody in this room, the new building we're going to build down there, thanks to the leadership of Father Shanley, and with Nate's leadership, there's no question that we're going to get to the top of the mountain. So thanks for being here. Thanks for your support. Remember, as always, go Friars.